Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel, welcome back to this video. Today I'm going to present you one of the exploits that you can actually use against your opponent and this is something that not many people are aware of and if you want to implement it into your game let me know and if you think it's complete trash and nobody would actually do that in game then also let me know in the comments below after the video but right now I'm going to show you what I mean. So this is a game from me, Jaws, playing against a Mask King in some kind of a tournament. I guess it was the tournament from Mu. Uh, from Mazi Mo, aka the Mo Cup, that is being hosted on his Twitch channel. I will link it below in the info box. It's an amateur cup where, every, where actually everybody can play. And I'm going up against uh, the Yellow Orc player here. And the Yellow Orc player is going to show something amazing that I also completely forgot about since nobody is actually using it. But I think it can be really helpful and super powerful. So on the one end, I'm going to show you how it works. And on the other end, I'm just going to show you how to prevent this or how to just counter it. So we see I will go down to normal speed right now. This is last refuge, we will enable the fog of war. Usually the human player is going for the green camp, let's see real quick. Yes, I did the green camp and right now I'm running this direction. If you see on the mini map, my Archmage is here, should be running here and maybe creep this a green spot. So what the Blade Master did is creep the little High Priest there, get the Wand of Illusion as well as the Circle of Nobility from the Goblin Merchant early on. And now the trick is about to happen. So what's going on right now? Blade Master is going towards my main base. Usually you would think like, okay, let him run towards my main base since there's nothing that he can do. I went for a super early tech with two farms, getting the third farm just right now. The Grunt is kind of scouting me and looking what's going on or just retreating from the creeps. As you can see, the Forest Road Trapper is still ensnaring him. While the blade master on the other side, yeah, I said it, is go is getting closer and closer to my main base. But there's absolutely no entrance. There's no way that he can potentially enter that main base. Yeah. Think twice, guys. Think twice. It's going to happen nonetheless. We will go half speed when it happens. So he actually goes towards my main base and figures out that there's absolutely no space. He realizes to farm tech and he knows that my Archmage is not around. So the idea that he got, Mr. Amasking, and I really thank you for showing this, and I'm, I'm glad that I can present it to you, because it's something really nice and really amazing if you can pull it off, and it will catch your opponents off guard, and they don't know what hit them until you do it. So what actually will happen is the Blade Master is getting closer and closer to that farm, and as you can see, there's no entrance here, no entrance here, as well as no entrance here. On the other side, we can check everything is closed so you can there's no way that you can basically enter that main base without any kind of trick or teleportation stuff by just squeezing in one peon that can actually bypass these areas or squeezing in a tiny unit that can actually move inside that main base so the trick is that you have like you have like blocks building blocks and this is like a building block this is a building block and there's like no row between these two buildings but what you can do is like you lay an item on the ground for example the staff of uh, the Rand of illusion that he just found he will put the chest like you get a little gold chest that drops out when you drop an item there and this kind of gold chest has like a small box that has to be applied to that box. I'm not really sure how it works in terms of Warcraft physics or anything, but this is how, like my understanding. So you have this box and this box needs a place to be on or just like an area that it fills. So whenever you drop an item there and you step on top of that item and you collect it, it's like the space that your hero needs, the Blade Master, especially while he's windwalked, by getting this item back on on your backpack or inventory you just squeeze through this uh, little arrow uh, narrow and not called entrance i don't want i don't really know how to describe but you will just see it so what he's doing he checks if he can move there he's like he cannot get any closer to my buildings right now he's dropping the circlet of nobility and you can see it, the circlet of nobility is almost on top of that hero so whenever the hero collects it he will need some space to fill the hero in. So the game actually squeezes the hero between the farm and the town hall and he will get inside that main base. So if you didn't see it, what happened, just go back to the video and check it one more time. We will go to normal speed now. And this is like, good morning, and he's like, I just entered your main base in the most fancy and tricky way possible. I call militia immediately. And what I want to point out on the other side is how to respond to it. So there's a blade master in your base. Okay, he cannot do all too much by himself. He's still level one, no critical strike. He cannot go ham, he cannot go crazy on your workers. Of course he will kill one or two workers. One is already dead, the grunt is there, he cannot enter my main base. What I did was construct a llama mill nonetheless. 
But I will call malicious since he will apply pressure. He will come out of that windwalk and you want to force as many windwalk as possible. Because there's no way that he's leaving your main base if he doesn't have a staff of teleportation or a town portal. Since this orc player sold his town portal, he's in a miserable spot. Of course, he's inside my main base forcing these malicious. And on the other side, I cannot harvest any more lumber. And I think my lumber count will just be punished heavily by that. I will not be able to construct the Arcan Sanctum that I want to have on tier 2. I'm almost like 40% done teching. And it will throw me like... It, f it will throw me off, definitely. And at this point, I was like, is there an entrance? I have absolutely no idea. And if you watch the stream when I was playing, I was really questioning how he entered my main base. I was super curious if there's any kind of entrance before I realized that he pulled this trick off. So my perfect response to this, or the response that I would like you or I would recommend to you is that you creep on the other side of the map while I was already here. Don't tone portal back, don't run back. There's nothing that you can do against a Windwalk Void Master. Of course, you could go back, use Dust of Appearance, and try to force him out or just kill him off. But just use the time that you got by knowing that he is in your main base as well as the Grunt is in your main base. He cannot creep like you. And I got three footmen, and three footmen and a water elemental provide quite some damage. So, what I will recommend you right now. Pay close attention to your main base here, maybe try to surround the grunt that is outside. Whenever the blade master attacks, attack him with all the militias that you got or just let the gold, run, uh, gold line running since you will you will need that gold. Now he's using the step, uh, the wind, uh, wind of illusion here which is a great thing since it kind of tells me that he is there which he is not. He is still hiding there in the back of my base. And in the meantime I crept this green spot and now going to the expansion here and I will creep that. So. I'm level 2.3, 2.4, after this 2.6 or something. So it looks really good. In the meantime, I lose another worker. I call all militias right now, since I don't know which uh, which one is the uh, true blade master. Now he's down to 64 mana points. So he will have one more wind warp before he's completely drained. And then I can basically kill him off, since there's no way that he's killing a farm and making his way out of there. So last wind warp should be used in a second here. While the Archmage is creeping on the other side, he's getting the expansion crap. Blade Master not using the Wind Walk yet, not sure why, finally he's using it. I can uh, send my militia back. In the meantime, I'm getting more footmen. I crap that spot. Of course, I lost a little bit of HP on that one footman, but I'm getting closer and closer to level 3 right now. You could spawn a, a second level 1 water elemental, but since this one is still full HP and the duration is not completely gone yet, you should just use that water elemental and keep the 180 or 150 mana that I got for a level 2 water elemental that you will have in no time after finishing this spot. So what I did was, I paid attention to the blade master by calling militias, I let my gold line, st uh, gold line still mine, because I can just replace the workers later. Now I am getting a farm in the way, so that even though he's getting rid of that farm, he will never leave my base. But the Blade Master should die nonetheless. It's not looking good for him. 48, 50 mana, it's not enough for a Windwalk, and he will basically die right now at this point. So he's losing his level 1 hero, while I crept my hero to level 3. Right now with the level 2 water elemental that I summoned, I have a pretty good impact on his Boros here. I got more mana because I didn't waste it creeping this one here earlier on so I will have a second level 2 water elemental. I lost one of the footmen that was red HP. Anyhow I think he's getting the Blade Master back at the tavern. Yes he got it at the tavern which is not a big deal right now since it's still level 1. It's not costing you all too much but the hero will not be f at full HP and he will lose all the uh, all these Boros here in his main base. In the meantime, I think I replenish the workers that I lost earlier. I get the arcane vault. Yes, my wood count is at 200, which is still decent. I was supply blocked, so I couldn't get a second hero yet. And I'm still on one hero here. I have to get a few more farms. This is the fourth farm that I will get. In the meantime, a few footmen, of course, will die. But I also trade against grunts and borrows and peons. I think also like three or four peons died in the meantime. And yeah, it, it kind of shows you how to respond to something like this. And if you're not that experienced, maybe it throws you off, but as this is going on and as I also try to describe what to do in order to not get completely caught off guard, I, I think you get a fair idea of what to do and how to prevent this from killing you completely. 
So let's see how this game continues. Am I getting a second hero? Not yet. The Black Mage is out. I get the Clarity Potion as well as uh, Regeneration Scroll. Uh, yeah, scroll of Regeneration from my shop. Killing one grind. It was ensnared. I will just go fast forward from here since the game should be completely over by now. I play it safe. I could go for a super fast tower rush. But since he kept my workers busy earlier, I don't have the amount of lumber to support two Akin Vaults as well as the towers at the same time. Right now I have 300 lumber and I think I have the two Arcan Sanctums finally finished yes they are done i have 300 lumber and now i could call for the infamous towers that you can pull off i get amazing levels here level four and a half on my arcmage already i got banished i got mana drain and the game ends at this point so i hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it it's point or if you have used it before let me know in the comments as well as subscribe to the channel thanks for tuning in once again and this is it for for now come back on thursday for the next throwback and yeah stay tuned for more see you guys